Hello, I'm talking with Paul Snow. Hi, Paul. Welcome to Let's Talk Bitcoin. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. So you have a project called Passing Bitcoin Around the World, but you are also from the Austin Bitcoin Association. Is that right? That is correct. Okay. Now, Passing Bitcoin Around the World is something that we do through our meetup group. And the uh, Texas uh, Bitcoin Association actually was an association that grew up out of the meetup group. So they're both related in some ways, cousins maybe. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so I see the connection there. So what is um, bi passing Bitcoin around the world? Tell me about that. Well, the, the thing that I got irritated about was constantly uh, reading people on the internet and talking to people and them saying, well, there's just no value to Bitcoin. It's not any different than dollars. We have credit cards. We have wiring systems. We don't need another solution. And, and I just knew that, you know, I can pass a Bitcoin to anyone in the world in 10 minutes. I, there's got to be a way I could demonstrate that it's fundamentally more interesting than the fact that I could pay somebody with a credit card and that charge will clear in, you know, a day or two or, you know, whenever the bank gets around to it. So anyway, we set up a, an, an event where we recruited people around the world, Uruguay, India, um, New Zealand, uh, a bunch of people in the U.S., and we, we set up a financial financial relay. The idea was that I would send a bit of Bitcoin, the, the original one in May was a half a Bitcoin. I would send a half a Bitcoin to one person, they would send it to another person, and they would send it to another person, and, it's, and each time you got a confirmation, you could send it to the next person in the relay. And we were able to uh, perform 10 international transactions out of 11 transactions total. Uh, the distance between the participants essentially stretched three times around the world, and we did it all in an hour and 51 minutes, 45 seconds. The last transaction went to the One Foundation, uh, a, a, a disaster relief organization founded by Jet Li in China that was currently responding to an earthquake that had occurred in April in China, and, and there was a huge need there. And they had the money in their account, one hour, 45, uh, one hour, 51 minutes, 45 seconds from the first uh, transaction. After it did a, la a couple laps around the planet, huh? <laughs> After a couple laps around the planet, twice to New Zealand. I mean, it was just crazy. And, and, and they could use those funds for good right then, that day. You could never do that with a credit card. If you can do that with a credit card, then Bitcoin's nothing. You can't do it with a credit card, then you gotta say, there's something here. Yeah, absolutely. So a question about that, because I was thinking if you were to do something like this with a credit card, it would eat up 3% of the balance at least every time, plus probably a 50 cent fee. So how much were the transaction fees that got paid on that total? Well, um, it was about uh, anywhere from two cents to a nickel per transaction. And those transaction fees were paid by the participants. And so in the end, at the end of the relay, 100% of the Bitcoin we started with ended up at the One Foundation. So there you go. Yeah, that's really cool. So Because, as, because what, a lot, what a lot of people miss is with Bitcoin, with a pure Bitcoin payment system, the your customers paying the transaction fee to speed up the transaction. If they don't choose to pay it, they don't pay it. The merchant actually isn't ever paying any of it. So from the merchant's point of view, it's a zero cost. If, from the charity's point of view, it's a zero cost. They have the Bitcoin in their pockets. Yeah, so, so this is not only to promote Bitcoin uh, charitable activities, but also to promote Bitcoin itself among the global community, just to have them see what you can do with Bitcoin that you can't do with other uh, payment systems. Absolutely. Now, the second one, we, we had all the participants uh, put a, uh, a full Bitcoin deposit down, and we actually passed a full Bitcoin around. And after each participant's turn, we would either refund the, their deposit to them if they so requested, or we distribute it to one of a number of charities that we had uh, associated with the program. So in the end, we, we it was something like, um, God, I can't remember, I think it was uh, four or five Bitcoins that were donated to charity at the end of the event. 
which was which was a fabulous return. Um, so so it was more of a, a fundraiser on the second second time around. Yeah. So um, so you really believe in the value of Bitcoin charity? Do you have any thoughts you want to share about that? Oh well, I loved uh, Jason King. Uh, he's he's my guy. He, he he came and and spoke at one of the many conferences we had in Austin associated with our meetup group, and uh, he he brought the t-shirt that I'm wearing. Maybe you'll put that uh, picture we took. Yeah, we took a picture. You're, so for people who are listening on audio, um, your t-shirt says, keep Bitcoin weird, which is like, a, I guess, a reference to keep Austin weird, which is where you're from. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. The whole idea, though, is relevant to Bitcoin as it is to Austin. The, we, we say Bit, keep Bit, uh, keep Austin weird because we celebrate the diversity, the many different uh, perspectives that people bring to, the, to life. And Bitcoin should also do that same thing, May, uh, have respect for a lot of different uh, views and a lot of different positions. I couldn't agree more. So do you have any other plans to do more events where you pass Bitcoin around the world and then it ends up in a charity somewhere? Oh, absolutely. In, in February, we're planning to do this again. But this time, we're, we're going to be far more ambitious. We're going to be working with uh, meetup groups to try to organize a regional participation uh, around the world, find people in Africa, find people in Asia, find people in South America, and really extend the whole paradigm and produce something that's quite eye-popping. That's the, that's the goal. Great. So if people want to participate in the next one, where do they go to find out more? Uh, you can go to PassingBitcoin.com. Uh, right now, I don't have anything up there about the next event, but I will have it in the next few days. And By the time this comes out, maybe you'll have something posted, sure. Yeah, I better. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, Paul, thank you so much for talking with me today. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Stephanie. <laughs> Hi, this is Jason King for Bitcoin 100, and you're listening to Let's Talk Bitcoin. But you know, Bitcoin is not really a talker. It's a doer, just like the best nonprofits and charity organizations. And at Bitcoin100.org, all we do is find hardworking nonprofits and charities and give them $1,000 in Bitcoin. That's all we do. So donate to Bitcoin 100 and let Bitcoin, nonprofits, and charities do what they do best.